Kokichi. There's something I need to know. Hmm. What do you need to know? I'm scared. What? What did you do? Why did you lie just now? Which lie are you talking about, Shuichi? I lie a lot, so you'll need to jog my memory. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. Also, I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. Oh yeah, how did he know about the roof being like that if he never went on there? It all began when Miu showed us the map. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. It was that testimony that bothered me. Oh, mine, mine. Show question. What did Kokichi lie about? Oh, we got a new color. That thing, right? Yeah. I see it. When you were explaining that the door to the roof was locked, you said. Also, I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. But later, you said. Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. That's a lot of specific information. Stuff you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. Oh yeah! Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? <laughs> I'm a fucking liar. You could probably see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion. But you wouldn't know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. <laughs> I'm boned, aren't I? Huh? huh? Wh wh what? What's this all about, Kokichi? Did you actually go to the rooftop? I, I, I did, didn't. I already told you that b before. Why you look so nervous? Is this a sincere reaction? <laughs> yeah. But, but there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the roof. <laughs> it sounds like Fukawa. Remember now? That thing Himiko said. <laughs> At the start of the class trial, I remember you saying the handrail was made of bricks. Ooh, you so clumsy, girl. <laughs> Gotta be more careful there, Himiko. <laughs> Is it my fault? Himiko really say that? I don't think she did. She totally said that. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. She did not. I love it. No, uh, uh huh. No, uh, uh huh. <laughs> Are we twelve? She did too. Then when? Tell me how long ago? In hours, minutes, and seconds. <laughs> what a worthless fight! Stop them, Grandpa! All this terrible fighting is bad for the baby. <laughs> I bet he is gonna be like, that baby is gonna die. <laughs> Before your grandkid is born. <laughs> He's totally gonna kill her, this child. <laughs> Do it, Monokuma. <laughs> kill evil Monami. I'm not gonna apologize, cause Himiko said it. So damn stubborn. How much longer are you going to behave like this? We don't have time for this. But Kukichi is stubborn. You won't fess up no matter what. But if he's being this stubborn, it makes me think he has something to hide. To get him to show his hand, I have to prove he was on the roof. I might not like it, but I have to be aggressive. If we don't get the whole truth now, everyone's lives are in danger. I'm guessing we have to lie. Also, the song changed, too. I'm pretty sure this is the song that I was sent. I didn't go to the roof! I've had enough of your lies, man! I'm not lying! 
The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it. So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Wires burn in hell, you know? If you're lying, I'll set your pants on fire! That's fine, because I'm not lying. Then why do you look so nervous? Kokichi's lying for sure, but if he keeps throwing lies at me... I have to fight fire with fire. You better fucking lie, Weeby. Okay. There are no witnesses who confirm whether or not... So I guess we have to be like, I saw him kill Mio with my... My own eyes. It was sick. Go to the roof. Didn't he lie about the rooftop or lie about being a witness to seeing him though? So what did that is the do? question. I'll try both probably. I turned back and stayed in the salon the whole time, you know. There we I go. The oh, thank God. <laughs> I could not. I like. I don't know. Ah, God, it took forever. Kokichi, you're lying right now, aren't you? Oh, I'm definitely editing that out. It like, I knew I was supposed to lie, but like, I just could not get the time. First, I thought it was the first thing you were supposed to lie about. And I like, could not get that. Oh my God, I just like, could not get it. So I just decided to try this one because I kept getting like game overs. It was so hard. I don't even know if that one's possible. I feel like you could lie about either and it'd be okay. I wonder if that's the back route. Kokichi, you're lying right now, aren't you? Huh? Lying about what? Just before the murder occurred, I went to the salon to check on you. I kind of feel like Samugi could say, you know, Sahara, I don't really remember you um leaving. But you weren't there. I guess she might just have to have my back. What? Really? I waited there for a while. You never showed up. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. I got you in a corner. Fiji? Didn't you go right back to the salon after finding the roof door locked? It's kind of nice to give him a taste of his own medicine. I wonder if he'll be like, Oh, Saihara, you're lying so beautifully. I love it. I see. You use underhanded tactics too, huh, Shuichi? <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. So who are you guys going to believe? Shuichi or me? Well, of course I'm going to believe Shuichi. I believe Shuichi 100%. The one who's not Kokichi. Hundred house points. Oh, no. Himiko points. Two shoes. <laughs> I love it. Harry Potter reference. But to go to the salon, Shuichi would need to pass by me in the dining room. No, Samugi, just. Shh, shh, shh. please be my waifu. Maki did it in the last trial. Come on, girl. Just help me out. Wonder why I didn't notice Shuichi there. Damn, you couldn't keep your mouth shut. Oh well, I'll believe Shuichi anyway. He's usually right about stuff. <laughs> nice. Sorry, but I'm going to believe Shuichi too. We're not gonna do a scrum debate for this, guys. Fuck you guys. Oh, I see. I wanted at least Gonta to believe me. <laughs> what comes around goes around. That's what happens to liars like you. Why do you guys hate lies that much? There's only one truth, but endless possibilities for lies, you know? And some of them are only white lies, or lies to be kind to people. If you deny all of that just because it's a lie... You can I go on your little, like, monologue about why it's so great? Kind of like how Junko goes on monologues about despair. Then that means you guys are just terrible at being lied to. Seriously, the worst. <laughs> just spit it out already. You went to the roof, didn't you? Isn't that where he met up with Mew? No, he didn't just meet her there. He probably... Okay, fine. I'll tell you if you want to know that badly. Consider this my revenge. Okay. Here we go. Revenge? You got some balls lying to me. I'm gonna take away your fun for pissing me off, Shuichi. <laughs> Damn. I won't let you do any detective work or deduction or mystery solving or anything. <laughs> Am I gonna do the final argument this trial like Kamina tried to do in the second game? Oh? So, I'll confess everything. You guys better listen carefully. Confess? A confession? 
so you are the culprit after all. I came up with a plan after Mew asked me to meet up with her. <laughs> Confessing dot dot dot. She asked me pretty eagerly, too. So I decided to pry some info out of her. She gave me the rundown of the virtual world before she explained it to you guys. Yeah, I was gonna say, it seemed like they had a conversation about it beforehand. I meant to look back at that conversation, I totally forgot. As I listened, I realized she was planning a murder. On me, no less. When I investigated the virtual world, I found out that a person can die from shock. Without a doubt, she planned to use that for my murder. So that's when I decided to prepare my own crime with her plan. I pretended to cooperate with her and lured everyone into the virtual world. That's also why I work together with Monokuma. Oh, here we go. Find out what you've been up to. You work together with Monokuma? I told you guys we've been hanging out. <sighs> I guess the jig is up. Yeah, everything he said is true. Kokichi came to me with an idea. To make the killing game more interesting. Oh no. It was such a good idea, I decided to place a motive in the killing game simulator. Oh, so there actually was a motive in there? You added a motive? Then the secret of the outside world is the motive, right? No fair! Monokuma can't take sides! I didn't help him with anything, and I had nothing to do with the murder itself. He merely suggested a way to spice up the killing game, and I accepted. Kokichi and I had a quid pro quo relationship. Technically, that doesn't violate the rules. Bullshit! No matter how you look at it, you guys are working together. We're bros now, just like you and Shuichi, Kaido. Shh, calm down. I'll explain my relationship with Monokuma, so let me finish my confession. I'm fine with that, but you're confessing without much of a fight. Yeah. Me? <laughs> I told you. I'm gonna get in the way by taking away the mystery solving fun. If I can't win this game, then I'll make it boring for everyone. That's my revenge. Well then, the culprit is Gonta. Shit. Oh, damn it. What the fuck did you do, Kokichi? I think he's actually telling the truth. Like, for real. Fuck you, dude. Oh my god, I was thinking that, though. Because, like, Gonta doesn't know anything about the virtual world. And if it couldn't have been Kibo that he set up because he was on the other side, then it would have to be Gonta who he had set up to do it. And it would explain why he's being such a cocky little shit this whole trial about it. Because, <laughs> I mean, if he was about to die, I don't know that he would be super excited about it, you know? Because he would be bummed that he's not going to win the game. <sighs> okay. What? Huh? Wh what did you... Wait! When did Gonta kill Mew? That's a lie! He didn't kill her! Kokichi's just lying! Now you're trying to pin things on Gonta? Do you really expect us to believe such an obvious lie? Yeah, there's no way Gonta could commit a murder this complicated. He's not smart. It's my turn now! Oh, fuck. You set him up, didn't you, you piece of shit? <laughs> what? The truth is, Gonta and I work together. We formed a duo to end this killing game. As the killing game buster! What the fuck? Poor Gonta, he's like, what is going on? What busters? <sighs> we must win this killing game in order to end this killing game. What you mean, we? By the way, I came up with a murder plan. And Gonta carried it out. <laughs> so I'm safe. Gonta what? Why are you more surprised by that than the first thing he said? Yeah. Because Gonta have no idea what he's talking about. Are we not going to do the rebuttal showdown? Was that just... Oh, that was just a prank, bro. 
Come on, quit lying and tell us the truth. Santa is telling the truth. He's not someone who lies all the time like you. And no matter how naive Gonta may be, I doubt he would ever team up with Kokichi. I don't know, he's pretty naive in the virtual world. Yeah, not after insect meet and greet incident. <laughs> it's obvious what he's trying to do. Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, so Kokichi's trying to trick him. He's trying to sacrifice Gonta to escape from his crime. You're right. I'm sorry. I did something horrible to Gonta. I didn't want Shuichi to hog all the glory, so I told everyone the truth! Cut that out! I told you it's not gonna work! I think he really is telling the truth, though. Don't you think I could have pulled the strings and made Gonta carry out my commands? It doesn't matter if it's possible or not, because I say it's just impossible! It does matter. There's no need to bring emotions into class trials. All we need is logical thinking. Right, Shuichi? Are oh, you gonna make me do it, you piece of shit? What? Um, going to not understand what's going on, but still. If this really happens, I hate this game. Going to not kill Mew. Going to really not know anything. And also, going to not tell lies. And going to not make trouble for others. Cause that not how gentlemen act. That why going to not <laughs> culprit. Oh, I love Gonta. He's so sweet. I mean, I feel like he would have at least some memory of it, but he was so out of it with the virtual world. I don't know that he can really, you know, remember what exactly happened in there. Cause he was just so, I mean, ugh. Surely he would remember killing somebody. I don't know how Kokichi would do it, but since the beginning, I've really felt like Kokichi was going to manipulate somebody into killing somebody else. And this definitely seems like the trial that he would do it for. So that's why I'm like, oh, fuck me, he's probably telling the truth. Yeah, Gonta's not lying. I can tell just by looking at him. I already used my magic to check. Gonta's definitely not lying. I wonder what happens when you switch the consciousness and the memory. Did that like screw with him maybe to where he wouldn't remember? Some of the things happening, like, Gonta is super out of it, so I mean, I don't know who Kokichi was sitting by. I mean, I don't know. He could have accidentally swapped those and that could have done something, because we haven't explained that yet, the error that one of the avatars had. But one of the cords was memory, so did he literally just forget about it, like, completely? Then let me ask you guys, if it's not Gonta, then who's the culprit? You, of course! <laughs> Come on! There's already proof that I couldn't have killed Mew. God, that was a weird... That was a scary... Scary delivery there, Oma. There's already proof? Oh, did you forget already? Then let me make it clear again. Why I can't... <laughs> <be> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He's gonna show off the sprite! Oh god, okay Kaido, if you don't react to this one, <laughs> then I don't know what you're on, dude. <laughs> I really nobody's gonna be like, <laughs> what the fuck happened to Oma? <laughs> he just paused when that spray too. I am not the culprit. Uh. Didn't I prove that to you guys already? The clue is how Mew is killed. Mew got strangled to death, right? Toilet paper was the murder weapon. Mew would have totally resisted if she was being strangled, right? Then it would have been impossible for someone as weak as me! You talking about the strength of your virtual avatar? That wouldn't matter if you strangled her from behind. In which case, even if she did resist, the most she could have done is merely touch the culprit. Exactly. She couldn't struggle much. So you could have kept strangling her, no problem. No. God, they're making See, me disagree with Kaido so I'm much. Not the culprit. How'd you arrive at that conclusion? I feel like this song is so much more intense. Has already been proven that Kokichi is innocent, then we should have evidence of that. I forgot about this one. Before we say anyway or the other, we have to clear something up. I am not the culprit. 
so you could No problem. Yep. That's wrong. Didn't get the V. <laughs> After that last mess up though, I was like, if I can just get it, I'll be okay. Actually, maybe it wasn't possible for Kokichi to strangle Mew. Why wasn't it possible? <laughs> you keep disagreeing with me, dude. Mew modified my avatar, so if she attacked me, I wouldn't be able to resist. If Mew touched me, then I'd be unable to move. Huh? So I would have had to kill her instantly, such as stabbing or hitting. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have murdered her by strangulation, because it'd be game over if she touched me. Well, if you were using the toilet paper, you wouldn't need to touch her directly. But if you can't be touched while you're wrapping the toilet paper around her neck, then it would be impossible. Yeah. Which means, as long as she died from strangulation, it couldn't have been me. Damn. Wait, what if it was something besides strangulation then? Like... There's no doubt Mew was strangled. We already discussed this. <laughs> Kaido is really desperate to make me the culprit. No matter how much you whine about it, you can't change the truth. The culprit who killed Mew is Gonta Gokuhara. This is the truth you all adore so much. God, I wonder, like, was he trying to set him up to show, like, the one that you guys all love so much? killed, you know, like, one of your friends, the one that was the most trusting and precious and pure, was a killer. How does that make you guys feel? Like, I don't know, like, is he trying to get at something like that to just show us that, like, lies and deceit and all that stuff is great and super fun? No! Go to not kill Mew! I feel bad. Like, is he seriously not gonna remember it? It's true! You gotta believe Gonta! Gonta would never hurt anyone! I don't wanna watch you get executed, dude! I believe you. You've been risking yourself to protect everyone. I know, like, oh god, that's gonna suck, because he's always talking about protecting friends, and like, for him to kill someone, that's like the worst character to do it, you know? Or to get set up like this. There's no way Gonto would kill! He won't even kill bugs! I believe Gonta too. I'm not gonna listen to Kokichi's lies. Uh, of course! Who'd believe a liar like him? He's lying about Gonta being the culprit, so there's no point talking about it. I don't know about that. If we want the truth, we might have to ask uncomfortable questions. Right, Shuichi? You think so too, don't you? Um... <laughs> fuck me, dude. Huh? I know how important it is to believe. But as the ultimate detective, I know we can't solve this case with belief alone. Huh? It's just that something doesn't add up. I have this feeling something's off. We can't keep going back and forth like this. We need to discuss this. What, you want to suspect Gonta? Not really. Too bad, Kaito. Looks like Shuichi agrees with me. I know, I feel like every panic debate and like everything, it's always like, disagree with Kaido's line. You're on my side, Shuichi. We're gonna be best friends next chapter. No, I'm not trying to- Believe me, I really don't want to. The game's making me. Oh, the irony! You're trying to pit us against each other too? It's all thanks to Kaito that Shuichi got his act together as a detective. And now, Shuichi's intuition as a detective has made him more suspicious of others. Yeah, that's definitely what he's trying to do. Well, can't be helped. That's just what a detective does. That's not it, Kokichi. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone survi- Shuichi, Gonta really not do it. <laughs> Gonta not culprit. Gonta. Please, leave Gonta. God dang it, you probably did it and don't remember it. Uh. We might as well discuss it. What? 
As a precautionary measure, that's all. I think we need to seriously discuss whether Gonta was capable of committing this crime. You're sad too, Kibo. Only then can we arrive at a logical decision. You guys, why don't you get it? That's just what Kokichi wants. He's just trying to split us up. Shuichi, open your eyes. Damn, it's like we're fighting now too. B but two for one truth special. Sorry to ruin this tense moment, but you guys seem pretty evenly split right now. So, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds. Here we go. So we're gonna do that again. Shuichi, why? Why don't you understand? Seems like you're giving into his bait a lot more than Saihara is, though, Kaido. But yeah, it definitely seems like Kokichi is trying to, like, pit us against each other. I wonder if that'll, I don't know, get worse next chapter after this finishes. I don't know. You, you're my son, oh! <laughs> This is sad. Kaido. <sighs> Of course I want to believe Gonta. I don't want to think that he killed someone. But as the ultimate detective, I can't turn away from the truth. I need to find the truth. I feel so... <laughs> this is gonna be so sad. Oh god. Is it gonna be me, Kibo, and Oma against everyone? I don't really know what side Maki's gonna be on. Like, I know she, like, loves Kaido, but she's usually pretty logical when it comes to this stuff. I really don't want it to be Gonta. That's gonna be awful. Did Gonta have committed the crime? Oh, damn, it really is just us three against them. It's come to me. Shuichi, are you saying that Gonta is the culprit? Gonta is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Could Gonta have even made it to the rooftop without being noticed? There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma. It's all a lie. Kokichi is the one who killed Mew. Gonta not kill Mew. Honest. Blind trust is just going to get us further from the truth. I want to solve this. I have to because I want to survive with everyone. Shuichi, are you saying that Gota is the culprit? I got this. I can't say for sure he's the culprit. I'm saying we can't rule it out. Gota is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Kokichi, don't you realize these so-called sweethearts can commit crimes too? <laughs> Especially if I set him up to Could do Gonta it. Gonta have even made it to the rooftop without being noticed? Kibo. The entrance hall is all that separates the rooftop from the mansion exterior. There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall. I got this. No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma. Kokichi, I did cooperate with Monokuma, but only on a temporary basis. It's all a lie. Kokichi is the one who killed Mew. Kibo, that is impossible because Kokichi's avatar had special settings. Yeah. Gonta not kill Mew! I oh, this. Gonta, I don't want to suspect Gonta you! Could have murdered Mew. I don't want to suspect you, buddy! Okay. This yeah! Awesome. <laughs> this fucking sucks! In my opinion, as long as it is possible that Gonta is the culprit, we have to discuss it. That's ridiculous! You're going to believe Kokichi over Gonta? That's not it at all. I just want the truth. Everybody was so gung-ho on me, and now they're all gonna hate me after this. If we're going to survive, I have to find the truth. Or they're gonna hate me right now, at least. Damn, Kaido's pissed. What? Gonta telling truth. Gonta really <laughs> not culprit. Oh, Gonta, I don't want to suspect you, dude. I know it was fucking Kokichi probably tricked you. I 
still don't think Gonta's lying. But didn't I tell you guys already? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit. It would bum me out so hard if Gonta really did go. Not, I, I'm not gonna say the crazy word, but if you really like, actually, did I don't know. I, he's not smart enough to set this stuff up, though. I mean, no offense to him, but I don't think he's smart enough to do it, like to set up everything that was done. So that's why I'm like, it had to have been Kokichi set up the whole thing. And then, you know, like he was saying, pretty much, he set up the whole thing, but he made Gonta actually do the act itself, which is why I don't think he's lying. That's why it hurts my heart to persecute Gonta like this! Yeah, fucking right. Gonta, if you understand, then do it right. Make logical arguments for the truth. L logical arguments? It means use your head to make arguments. Use... <laughs> oh, Gonta. It's like the worst person to do this to. What I'm trying to say is, if you aren't the culprit, then you gotta prove that you aren't. But Gonta really not know. Uh, I'm sick of hearing you say you don't know. God, why are you so dumb? God. <laughs> Gonta just want to help everyone. Like a oh, gentleman. I feel so bad for him. You're a true gentleman? More like a true nincompoop. Jeez, Oma. Hey, now that's just bullying. Bullying? Yeah, so what? That's what you do in this game, right? You guys blame and gang up on me, but now you're gonna pretend to be good people? No, I, I never ganged up. Gonta, argue back already. Just make an excuse or... Whatever! Stop it! That's enough! Jeez, God. Please, Kaido, break in. Jeez. I bet he fucking did do this, and he's like, I just want to see Ganta, like, defend himself. But Ganta's like, I mean, God bless Ganta's heart. He doesn't really know how to defend himself, especially if he doesn't even remember doing it. He's such a tick. God. Um, stop what? You mean, stop the game? Hey, do you even know what you're saying? Yeah, I know. What about it? I don't want to survive if it means I have to stoop to your level. Jeez. God, Kaido really wants to, like, beat the shit out of him. Oh, that's a low blow right there. Then just die in a hole for all I care. We want to live, so stop getting in our way. This is getting so intense. Wait. If you don't shut your mouth, then I'll shut it for you. Permanently. Maki, please, calm down. Oh, Gonta! Sorry. It Gonta's fault. Everyone's so upset. But Gonta telling truth. Gonta really not culprit. I know. Cause Gonta not know anything. Really. This is awful. I hate this. Cut it out already! That's all you've been saying this whole time! Jeez! You're the one that needs to cut it out! Wait, what did Kokichi say? All you've been saying this whole time, that's true about Gonta. This whole time, Gonta's been saying he doesn't know anything. Or is that error, wasn't it? Gonta not understand either. Me, you like this when Gonta wake up. Gonta was sleeping too. Had strange dream. Gonta not understand anything. Gonta not know. Murder already happened when Gonta wake up. So maybe... I don't remember him... How much he talked in the virtual world. I think he did a little bit. Yes, yeah, so maybe he doesn't remember... That's what happens when you switch it. You just don't remember what happened in the game. Well, why this happened? Why me you killed? Gonta not understand. Gonta not understand anything. Cause Gonta have no idea what he's talking about. Well, when exactly did he start using that defense? Gonta started saying, I don't know when... Before logging in the virtual world, after logging out of the virtual world. Yeah. That's it. I'm guessing that's... What happened? 
That's it. It was after he logged out, that means... Did Gonta get into an accident in the virtual world? Accident? The accident that hurt Gonta, that was... This is it! Yeah. When we logged into the virtual world, an avatar user error occurred. Some sort of avatar user error occurred when you all logged in for the first time. An error? The contents of the error are unknown, so I can't provide any details. But something strange definitely happened to someone's avatar when you all logged in. An avatar user error? Ever since Gota logged out, he's been saying, I don't know, I don't understand. Yeah, so he doesn't remember what happened. That's because Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, right? Wouldn't be that out of it over it, though. That's what I thought at first. But I think it's because of the error. What you mean? If that error is what's affecting Gonta, and it's making him forgetful and loopy, then what was the error? What could it have been? Hangman's Gambit! Which is the chords, right? There we go. Memory loss, yeah. I believe it's possible that Gonta doesn't remember what happened in the virtual world. Huh? He doesn't remember? You started saying, I don't know anything, after leaving the virtual world. I think that's the result of some kind of memory error. That's why he doesn't remember anything that happened in the virtual world. <laughs> like you didn't know that. Not even killing Mew. What? That's ridiculous! Quit screwing around! How did Kokichi even get him to do it, though? Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous! What do you mean he doesn't remember? He's just confused! <laughs> I wish. Gonta told us he was bad with computers, remember? Memory or no memory, Gonta never hurt anyone. I don't want to not believe you, Gonta. No Gonta's way, like Gonta's the culprit. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> the sad sprites are so sad. I mean, <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Sir, since there is sad sprites, he's just so precious. Gonta never. Device instructions, right? Visitors function. The plug in. Yeah. Gonta hurt anyone. You did it, but you don't remember doing it, right? If there was a glitch, it's gentlemen, gentlemen, protect friends! Oh, Gonta! I know you want to protect everybody. Gonta not lying! That means there was no glitch. Gonta swear! Please believe Gonta! There's no glitch. Damn it, dude, they're really making me... They're really making me disagree with Kaido, aren't they? I know it sounds crazy, it's no wonder it's hard to believe. This game keeps making me disagree with Kaido. He's gonna fucking hate me after this thing's over. But this is the truth. I gotta fucking agree with Oma. God, they really want me to disagree with Kaido, don't they? The cause of the error that affected Gonta's avatar is the two cords on the helmet used to log into the virtual world. Put the red consciousness cord in the right port and the blue memory cord in the left. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know, I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. I think that going to messed up something with the cords, causing the error. If he mixed the consciousness and memory cords, then there'd be an error with memory. Yeah. Like an error that won't let you bring your avatar's memories to the real world? What? I wonder. Oh no, Kaido! You get a sad sprite too. You don't want it to be true either. God. This is gonna be another fucking sad trial and execution. Ah. I hate this game. Gonta, do you think it's possible that you improperly connected the cords? Huh? How Gonta supposed to remember that? He couldn't have messed it up. I said it over and over. 
Right is the hand you hold your chopsticks in. Oh, but going to hold chopsticks with this hand. Uh, oh, no. Hand. What? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's decided. I wonder if Kukichi knew that. What? Decided. He's wrong, isn't he, Gonta? You remember the virtual world, don't you? Oh, he doesn't, though. G Gonta not remember. Gonta not even go to this virtual world place. Oh. Okay, when he was saying sleeping, he really only remembered sleeping. Oh, Gonta, I don't want you to die. What? Gonta fall asleep when he put helmet on. When Gonta wake up, Mew dead. Gonta not know what happened. Oh, God. So, Gonta worry. Gonta not understand what everyone talking about. No, it can't be. But Gonta try his best to understand. Gonta imagine real hard. That's enough, Gonta. We already know. N know what? We know that you totally forgot about teaming up with me and killing Mew. How did he get him to do it? Because Gonta's a gentleman. He would never kill somebody. I can't imagine him ever doing that. Wait a minute! That lie! Gonta not kill Mew! Because why would Gonta do that? Poor thing. Yeah, it's a lie! I'll never accept this! And besides, Gonta's got no motive to kill Mew! I already gave you my testimony on how I came up with the murder plan. And I'm saying I don't believe you! Kokichi, if what you're saying is true, why did you plan it this way? You wanted to plan the murder yourself, but have someone else carry it out? Because <laughs> I'm a fucking dick, that's why, duh. Is the person who planned it also included as a blackened with the perpetrator? <laughs> no, they're not. Nope! Only the person who actually commits the murder becomes the blackened. Yeah. Then there's no incentive to just plan the murder. But Gonta is such a gentle soul. Why would he agree to this? Hold on! That hasn't been decided yet! Who cares about the motive? Let's vote for the culprit already! I care about the motive! Well, I don't care. Finding the culprit is more important in this class trial. Talking about the motive is meaningless. It's not necessary for this specific case. No matter what you say, I'll never believe your lies. We all agree that Gonta is the culprit, right? It would be impossible for anyone but him. Impossible? Why? It's pretty obvious if you use the process of elimination. Which means, Shuichi, you'll be my partner, right? Oh god, no, please. Everybody's going to hate me after this, dude. Me? Because if you don't face the truth, then we'll all die. Right? And you don't want that, do you? Jeez. Oh, my God. Okay, let's begin. Quit screwing around. I'm done putting up with your selfish bullshit. Kaito, we should listen to his explanation. Our lives depend on it. <sighs> so, we can now take Keyboy, Himiko, and Maki off the suspect list. Shuichi, would you care to explain? I doubt they'll believe it if it came from me. Oh god, I hate you so much, dude. The reason Kibo, Himiko, and Maki can be eliminated as suspects is because... They didn't have the murder weapon, they couldn't have access to the crime scene. They couldn't get to the crime scene, could they? The bridge from the chapel to the mansion was gone, and only Mew could pass through the wall. The three at the chapel had no way to get to the mansion, so they couldn't have done it. Kaito is the next one off our suspect list, and you know why, right? He was logged out, he didn't go to the roof. <laughs> he wouldn't kill anybody, he's logged out. 
Kaito had logged out ahead of us. Yeah. Mew logged Kaito out from the start. But she did that to make us think the murder happened in the real world, right? Since we figured out the actual killing happened in the virtual world, it would have been impossible for Kaito, who had already logged out. God, they're not even happy getting their testimonies proven. They just don't want to believe it. It's like Kaito all Mew's over again. Time of death was around 6.30 in the morning. That's after Kaito logged out. This is kind of worse in a way. I mean, like, it kind of is because, I mean, he doesn't even remember doing it. God is just so, like, pure, you know? Uh, Kokichi's completely running the show now. My synergy with Shuichi is super on point now. So let's move on to the remaining suspects. Gonta, Samugi, Shuichi, and me. Samugi and Shuichi can be crossed off. But what's the reason for that? We have each other's alibis. We have solid alibis. Tsumugi and I are witnesses to each other's alibis. Both of you heard Mew hitting the chapel wall, right? The culprit was definitely on the roof during that time, since they slid Mew down. Because of that, Shuichi and Samugi can't be the culprit. That leaves only Gonta and me as the remaining suspects. Then you're the culprit! Sorry for getting your hopes up, but didn't I already explain that's impossible? Yeah. He couldn't have killed me. If Mew touched him, he'd freeze in place. Kokichi wasn't capable of strangling her. So then, it's down to one person. And who was that again? <laughs> oh, 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 Gonta! <sighs> well, who is it? Don't answer, Shuichi! You don't <sighs> need to answer that! You're gonna make me choose, you little dickweed. This is all Kokichi's trap! Kaido, I know it's not. <laughs> I mean, it is, but... Uh, we can't all just die because you want to believe. There's only one suspect left. Only one person could have done this. Fuck me. I fucking hate this game. Oh, God. Come on, so. It's... It's... Gonta. Shuichi? <sighs> yep. Gonta is the only person who could have committed the murder. You get it now, right? That's the truth we were all reaching for. The thing you guys wanted so badly! A truth without any lies! Is that what you're getting at, dude? Trying to show us how awful the truth is when I set up the fucking sweetest character in this game to kill somebody? You Iruma's killer <sighs> is Gonta Goku Hara! Really? Did Gota really do it? Oh my god. Jeez, is that really your reaction? It would have been fun if you went all crazy. But you forgot everything, so oh well. I want to know how like it exactly went down. I guess we'll find out after the trial when Kikichi explains it in excruciating detail. A culprit who can't remember their murder is pretty interesting. So, better than nothing. If Gonta remembered, his cover would have been blown so fast. Especially since he's an idiot. Oh, you're such a dick, Oma. Hold on. I, I still haven't accepted this. This has got to be Kokichi's trap. No, dude. I still believe in Gonta. He's not the kind of person who'd kill. I'm sorry, Kaido. Your lol hope stuff's not going to work out anymore. Kaito. I already said this a million times, Kaito. You shouldn't use emotions to re- You want proof? I've got your proof! 
After Sumugi and Shuichi heard Kibo's voice in the mansion, they ran outside. And who did they see out there? Oh, Shuichi and Sumugi. Gon, did you see Kibo around here anywhere? No, Gon did not see him. Gonta. Yeah, see. I mean, it was probably Kokichi who was on the roof. Kokichi that still said doesn't. You know. I mean, I guess that doesn't make our alibis as solid. But no, I mean, it, it does, though, because, I mean, we still remember. Gonta doesn't have memories of things that happened. So, I mean, it still couldn't have been us, you know? I mean, they, we still have, I guess, we still have evidence that it wasn't us since we have our memories, at least. When Mew's avatar crashed into the chapel wall, the culprit must have been on the roof. I see. If Gonta's the culprit, it'd be weird if he wasn't on the roof. It's possible that he fled the mansion after he heard the impact. You'd have to go through the entrance hall to get outside the mansion from the roof. Is that where Shuichi and Sumugi ran to when they heard the crashing sound? Then maybe he jumped off the roof. That's not possible. That rooftop was pretty high up. Normally, Gota could have done it, but his avatar wasn't strong enough. How about that? Now you get it, right? If Gonta was the culprit, there's no way he could have been outside the mansion. Now you can't say Gonta's the culprit. Congrats, Gonta. Oh, I wish. What? Really? No, don't get his hopes up. Oh, fuck me. Would have been so nice if that were the truth. If Kaido were right and this horrible trial would just end. But... No. That's wrong. Yeah. What? Just because Gonta was at the mansion doesn't mean that he isn't the culprit. All the culprit needed was a way to get from the roof to outside the mansion. Huh? <laughs> Looks like Shuichi got it. I'll leave the rest to him. Oh, that's a, I don't like that sprite either. Kaito, I know how you feel. I know because we all feel it. But we have to face the truth. No matter how cool that truth may be, we need to face it to survive. Whose side are you on, Shuichi? Damn, I knew it. I knew he was going to get pissed at me. Kaito, please. Aren't you my sidekick? Was that just a lie? Kaito! Fine then! I'll tear that sorry reasoning of yours apart and wake you up! Jeez, dude. I can't doubt my detective work now. I want all of us to survive. I can't back down. Oh, I have to do Kaito? Never no! Don't you know Gonta at all? Oh, this is, this is so sad. Our romance is so dead, isn't it, dude? Oh my god, dude. I don't want to not believe, dude. Little paper discovered outside of mansion. I don't want to not believe you, dude. Oh, Kaido. Our romance is so dead, isn't it? paper we found outside the mansion. That's what the culprit used to get from the roof to the ground. The toilet paper? The same toilet paper that was used as the murder weapon. That's why we didn't find it anywhere else. Not at the scene of the crime, nor on Mew's body. It was outside the mansion. Hold on. If they use the toilet paper as a rope to get down from the roof, then they need to tie it to something. But there was nothing to tie it to. The binoculars, right? I know, because I investigated the roof. You're stubborn, Kaito. You're still going on about this. Of course I am. I'm going to believe in Gota till the very end. No, there was something that the toilet paper could have been tied to. What? Yeah, the place where the toilet paper was tied down. The binoculars, right? 
There. I'm sorry, dude. The binoculars on the rooftop. The toilet paper could have been tied there. <laughs> However, I don't think the culprit actually tied it down there. They just hung it. And then used the doubled up toilet paper to climb down. But in that case, they would have had to tug on it in order to take it down. You can just roll it back up. Yep, that's correct. Cause I can't. Oh fuck. Oh, Gonta. But I thought I told Gonta to put the toilet paper back in the bathroom. Oh, I guess he ran into someone on the way and then threw it somewhere close by. Damn, I really don't know how I got Gonta to agree to it though. You know what? It's probably... I wonder if he... I bet he manipulated him because Mew is going to kill Kokichi so Kokichi could pull, like, the Don't you want to protect me, Gainza? Aren't I your friend card? And so that's how he ended up doing it. Like, that's how he was able to manipulate Gonza into doing it. I'm guessing that's it because, you know, Gonza wants to protect his friends and he still considered Kokichi a friend even though he didn't like him. And yeah, since Mew is trying to kill him... I bet that's what it is. He was trying to protect Kokichi. But Kokichi was like, I'm just going to use this to my advantage. I guess that's what he told Monokuma too, that he could manipulate Gonta into killing Miu to screw with us in the class trial. <laughs> Looks like Kaito's morale is shot, so this whole thing is done now. The matter does appear to be settled. Mm. That is... Oh. Gonta. So, it's true. Gonta really killed Mew. But I'm the one who came up with the plan. Anyway, just admit your crime, Gonta. Even though you don't remember, you still did it. Jeez. But, but why did Gonta do such a <laughs> terrible thing? was to protect your friends. You just protected the wrong one. Wait, before you start crying, you gotta admit your crime for- Stop. <laughs> for real. I won't let you, Kokichi. If anyone is gonna get him to confess, it's me. Gonta, I'm going to look back at the whole case one more time, okay? When you're convinced, you just let me know, all right? Let's end this together. God, I hate this. <laughs> oh, Gonta. <laughs> oh. I don't want to do this. <laughs> what color did the culprit? What color did the culprit stick in the right port? This is the truth of the case. Here we go. The case began last night. After being convinced by Mew, we all logged in to the virtual world. To log in, you have to plug the memory and consciousness cords into the device. So, we all plug those cords into our helmets and enter the virtual world. But the culprit had accidentally plugged their cords into the wrong ports. Because of this, a connection error occurred between the culprit's brain and their avatar. Yeah, I guess Kukichi didn't really need to predict that. I mean, he had already convinced Gonza to kill her, so... I guess he just thought he would go along with it in the trial, so he didn't really need to predict him mistaking the cords, so I guess that was just me overthinking things. As a result, the culprit would forget everything that happened in the virtual world. He 
It's possible that this had an effect on their avatar's personality as well. Oh. Because I... I can't believe that someone so kind could commit murder. Yeah, maybe. Well, I don't know. I really think it was probably that he was trying to protect Kokichi. But we had no idea this error even happened. And so, we all logged in one by one. Meanwhile, Mew was the last to log in. She had modified the killing game simulator so she could accomplish a specific goal. <laughs> Kill that fucking douchebag. After Mew confirmed we were all logged in, she took out the bottle of poison. and placed it on Kokichi's seat. This was done to make it look like Kokichi was killed by poison when we returned. Yes, the reason Mew modified the simulator and brought us to the virtual world was to kill Kokichi in the virtual world, but make it look like he had died in the real world. After we had all logged in, you explain the world to us. <laughs> Our little chibis in like the little comic book style. So cute. Use the salon phone to lock out. Objects are unbreakable. Your avatars use all five senses. She also explained the map of the virtual world in the mansion's entrance hall. But her explanation was intentionally false. She wanted us to misunderstand the world. However, one of us was able to see through her scheme. Kokichi. The very person Mew was trying to kill. Kokichi. Kokichi was going to use Mew's plan against her and plotted her murder. But Kokichi wouldn't do it himself. He used a patsy to be the culprit in this case. Kokichi was tight-lipped about the motive, so I don't know why the culprit agreed. <laughs> Look at how fucking evil my cute little chibi sprite is. Ooh woo. But it seems as though right after logging in, when Kokichi and the culprit went outside, they were already working together to execute the murder. Eventually, we met up with Kokichi and crossed the river to the chapel. Mew had us split up to try to find some secret of the outside world. Kaito, Kokichi, Gonta, Tsumugi, and I investigated the mansion. <laughs> My evil chibi sprite, too. <laughs> Look at how dangerous I am. And adorable. While Maki, Himiko, Kibo, and Mew investigated the chapel, splitting us up was also part of Mew's plan. At the chapel, Mew told Maki that she was going to look around outside. She chased after our group while we were heading toward the mansion. animations <laughs> Once she made sure we were across she dropped the bridge into the river this was to trick us into thinking that the river separated the mansion and chapel zoom i like this so far this is cute <laughs> i think this is my favorite out of all like the closing arguments with little chibis they're just so adorable at the time we thought nothing of it it was just another one of Mew's pranks That's why we continued with the original plan to find the secret of the outside world. We went to the mansion and split up to look for clues. Kokichi searched the salon. Kaito searched the roof. Tsumugi searched the dining room. I searched the kitchen. Oh, Sayara, this is so cute. 
his little eyelashes. And finally, the culprit searched outside the mansion. <laughs> Kaido's looks so serious. And then, of course, Omaz is evil. And they made Gantas look evil too, I guess just because he's the culprit. He's not evil though, he's so precious. Would have loved to have seen his, you know, animated like this and not evil. <laughs> Around that time, Mew was headed for the wall that was on the side of the chapel. She passed through the wall and headed for the mansion to kill Kokichi. You see, the wall was a special wall that Mew had added herself. This wall was programmed so that only objects could pass through. And Mew had changed her avatar settings from human to object. That was the hidden route she prepared for herself. She set up a wall that only she could pass through. Mew headed toward the mansion, but she was seen by Tsumugi on the way. When she entered the mansion, she pulled out her cell phone. She didn't tell us that there was another way to log out. Then, she spoke a name into the phone, which forced that person to log out. It was Kaito who was on the roof at the time. The same roof where Kokichi and Mew were going to meet. By having Kaito search the roof, and then forcing him to log out. She was making him look the most suspicious, but her plan didn't go smoothly. Kokichi was waiting on the roof with a culprit and a toilet paper used to kill Mew. While Mew was distracted by Kokichi, the culprit snuck up from behind. And used the toilet paper from the mansion's bathroom to strangle Mew. Yeah, I bet that's what he did. Oh, I'm so precious and you have to protect me, Ganta. I'm just so misunderstood. Play my free time events, you'll understand. This was only possible because objects in the virtual world are unbreakable. This Kokichi looks evilly Mew's off into the corner. Was strangled to death, and the shock killed Mew in the real world. Jeez. After the murder, Kokichi left the cleanup to the culprit and left the roof. He probably returned to the salon as soon as he could to avoid drawing suspicion. The culprit then took the lattice from the storage room and placed Mew's body on top along with the hammer and the cell phone. The culprit heaved the lattice over the railing and forcefully slid it down the roof slope. Ganta, how could you fall for this? Even Kokichi's walking off just looks like he's like, snap, snap, Ganta. Get to deleting the evidence. I got better things to do. <laughs> I look like I have Carol Brady here from behind with my little sprite. With a body on top of it, the lattice became a makeshift sled and flew off the roof. It went through the wall that only objects can pass through before crashing into the chapel. That was the crashing sound that Kibo heard in the chapel and we heard in the mansion. Oh, you know what? I was thinking he would take advantage of what Gonto was trying to do with Monokuma. And then he ended up taking advantage of Mew, but he technically did take advantage of kind of what Gonto was saying about like how he wanted to protect everyone. So he was es essentially trying to use like both Mew and Gonta's like, um, I don't know. I don't want, I guess Gonta's instability and then Mew's, I guess both of their, I think instability is probably a good word for it. So basically he was trying to use both of their instabilities in this chapter as a way for him to do this. Mew's wall hid the fact that the mansion and chapel were actually right next to each other. That's why Tsumugi and I were able to hear the crash from the mansion. 
as the final step, the culprit had to then get off the roof. Because we were at the mansion, they couldn't take the stairs or they'd be seen. So they used the toilet paper again to escape from the rooftop. They hung the toilet paper from the binoculars on the roof and used it like a rope to climb down. Once the culprit was safely on the ground, they pulled at the toilet paper to retrieve it. They would have returned it to the bathroom, but they ran into us as we were leaving the mansion. In a panic, the culprit tossed the toilet paper somewhere nearby. Without that one little mistake, we might never have solved this case because the culprit doesn't remember. Oh, yours is cute too, Gonta. I'm just sad you're the culprit. Oh. This is the truth you've forgotten, Gonta Gokuhara, the ultimate entomologist. Poor guy. Like I mean, I know why you did it, Gonta. It sucks. Gonta, this is the truth we've reached. S sorry. Gonta, not really understand. Because Gonta, not smart boy. Oh, Gonta. But if everyone agree, then everyone probably right. Gonta, trust everyone. Oh, Gonta. But why? Gonta kill Mew. Forget everything. Gonta even think he not do anything bad. Poor thing. And then Gonta tried to blame someone else and make everyone suffer. Oh, Gonta, you were just manipulated. But why? You're a good guy. You're a gentleman. Why go to do such terrible thing? <sighs> Gonta, it's not your fault. It's Kokichi's fault. He must have tricked Gonta. Huh? I totally didn't trick him. Before we go into that, it's voting time. We should finish up the class trial first. But is this the right answer? We're not being fooled by Kokichi? For once, I wish that we were. Yeah. Uh. Huh? Wrapping things up already? Hmm. What a buzzkill of an ending. It lacks the rush of previous voting times. Well, after so many killing games, I guess it was bound to happen eventually. <laughs> That's ominous. Well, this killing game is a bad influence on the baby. Oh my, Monotaro. You're even starting to look like a father. <laughs> Monokuma's totally gonna kill her. Yeah! I gotta get my act together for the baby. Um... Now then, put your <laughs> together and let's begin! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face-off! It's voting time! I wonder if Kokichi, what Kokichi was saying is gonna happen. It's gonna still be split. I mean, there's no way Kaido is voting for Gonta. I really would be shocked. If there wasn't at least one vote for Kokichi. I hope he doesn't vote for me! <laughs> like, like, damn, Kaido, like, come on, dude. Okay, I don't wanna do this. <laughs> <sighs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. Let's see. Anybody vote for me? Yeah, one for Kokichi. That was definitely Kaido. as the blackened will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one 
I guess because like Kaido was more willing to accept it and like admit it, Kaido was able to like go along with it. But for this one, it just sucks because Gonta doesn't remember doing it. And he like, he seems like such a nice guy, you know? It's hard to believe, even with all the evidence. God, I do not want to watch your execution. Oh, Gonta. Hey! 246, really? Wow, that's pretty good. I only got like two of them too. Pretty good, other than the fact that I had to retry like twice on that one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely right. Well, look at that, she voted correctly. Congratulations, you guys. Let me hear your joyful Give yourselves voices. a hand. Let me hear your joyful voices. <laughs> <sighs> let me hear your joyful I said, voices. let me... Oh, he's saying it for me. Let me hear your joyful voices. Damn. Damn it, why? <laughs> Jeez, these are all just moping around. They should be happy for themselves. <laughs> I know, I'm super happy. Hey, what should we name the kid? Mm -hmm. Good question. We should prepare six names. Yeah. Oh, what? We're having sex tuplets? I'm so happy. I might go crazy. Hey, Kokichi, you said this would liven things up. What gives, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm having a great time. Here. You said you were going to liven up the killing game and the class trial. And I said I'd put the motive, the secret of the outside world, into the killing game simulator. <laughs> uh, that was just a lie. Oh, oh so it was a lie. Oh, was that? He just laughed it off. Hey. Are you satisfied, Kokichi? I want you to tell us. What is the outside world? Is it the motive you gave Gonta? Um. I plan to explain all of that, but it's more like, how do I say it? You guys are just gonna assume it's a lie if you hear it from my cute lips. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, then let's have Gonta explain. <laughs> huh, Gonta? Please stop. Gonta doesn't remember anything. How can you expect him all to? Right. Then we should all go back to the killing game simulator. Huh? What? Because? Why don't we ask the Ganta in the virtual world? What? But going back to the virtual world is... <laughs> Poo -hoo -hoo. There's a much easier way than that pain in the ass method. Gonta's memories didn't transfer over. So they're still in the virtual world as data. Okay. I can combine Gonta's consciousness from his last login with that leftover memory data. Ta da! Alter Ego Gonta is now complete! Oh, Alter Ego! Oh, what a throwback! Alter Ego? Basically, it's a separate Gonta that only exists in virtual space. Can we have Alter Ego Gonta stick around so we still get to see him? He's so cute. If we listen to what he says, we should be able to find out what happened in that world. Huh? What this? What happening? Huh? Is this Gonta? Huh? Oh. Is that Gonta? What's that mean? What sort of phenomenon is this? What did do you do? Hey, um... Relax, Himiko. It's not magic. And it's not a trick. Alter Ego Gonta is just a computer simulation. It's just imitating Gonta's thought patterns. It's actually different from the real Gonta. Um... Gonta not understand. Who is this Alter Ego person? I like how it's highlighted, too. Now then. See, it's even stupid like the real Gonta. You can hardly tell the difference. Plus, he's got Gonta's memories of the virtual world, so he should remember what happened. Please... Then other Gonta, tell Gonta. Why? Why, why did Gonta kill Miu? Huh? Kill Miu? Why does other Gonta know about? Oh, man. Unfortunately, our plan failed. You can tell them the truth now. Oh. oh. Gonta. Then Gonta no could save everyone. Huh? 
Save everyone. Gonta don't know. He answered Gonta. Why did Gonta kill Miu? Gonta just want to save everyone. He wanted to save everyone? That's... Oh, no. Was he gonna, like... I guess because he thought that he was gonna come back. Was he gonna tell all of us about it? <sighs> tell all of us about it? And then, like, let us go on another trial? Kind of like what Sakura did? Gonta, what do you mean? Gonta... Gonta think for a long time. How can Gonta be useful for everyone? Gonta not smart enough to help with trials. Gonta strong, but no can fight exosols. Um... Gonta feel frustrated because Gonta no could do anything. <sighs> Gonta understand how this Gonta feels. Oh. Yeah. Technically, they are the same person. What? So that's why Gonta think he have to do it for everyone's sake. Gonta think he gotta do it because everyone else not want to. Gonta. So Gonta kill Miu. What? What do you mean by that? I don't get it at all. Oof. Jeez, Gonta's bad at explaining as always. I guess I'll have to help. Um... So if you remember what happened at that time. No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening. Hey, yoink. I'll take that card key then. Kukichi used his lithe body to his advantage and took the card key from Monokuma. Huh? The card key. So you used it. Yeah. After working tirelessly, I found the door for the card key. After opening it, I saw the outside world. What? The outside world. What? That was Monokuma's motive? But why would seeing the outside world be a motive? I'll tell you guys in a second, but that was when I found out about Miu's plan. <laughs> and it hit me. If I combine the two, then I'd be able to save everyone. Please wait. Save everyone? What do you mean? Hey. Hey now, you gotta listen to everything I say first. Um... Anyways, that's when I made a deal with Monokuma. If I livened up the killing game... <laughs> Then he would let me use the outside world as a motive again. Huh? Again? In other words... Let me chime in! The motive key card that Kokichi nabbed was the right to view the outside world. But even though he saw the outside world, he didn't try to use it for the killing game. That disappointed me, but then Kokichi suggested that we reuse the motive. Yeah. He said we should bring back the right to view the outside world one more time. And I decided to run with that idea. So I loaded a flashback light with memories of the outside world and put it in the simulation. Huh? Memories of the outside world in the flashback light. What? The secret of the outside world in the virtual world was about the flashback you light. Know. And if it was the flashback light, then it would mean the secret of the outside world is part of our forgotten memories. Huh? What are you saying? Wait. But why would anything about the outside world be a motive in the first place? Okay, yeah, so you just put a flashback light in there somewhere. What's going on? So we ever gonna see it though? Oh? Huh, you can't remember? Okay, fine. You get it? Let's talk about the motive later. We have to finish up this case first. Um... Monokuma hid the flashback light in the simulator, but I knew where it was hidden. And I showed it to Gonta in the virtual world. Hey! Hey, you even knew where it was hidden. That's not fair. To tell you the truth. Whoa, I just placed it. I never actually said I hid it. Too bad. <laughs> if anyone had asked, I would have gladly told you where it was. It's a little late for that. Always messing around. So Gonta was exposed to the flashback light. Um. Yeah, when Kokichi and Gonta leave together. <laughs> but Gonta can watch Kokichi, so he not do anything weird. Gonta, you're so sweet, but I knew you'd say that. Even without your ridiculous physical strength, as long as you're selfless and courageous, you'd make a terrific bodyguard. Bodyguard? Oh, literally. <laughs> literally, I'm gonna make you kill Miu for me. With you by my side, I know I'll be safe from any trap. Okay then, let's go. Oh, wait, Kokichi. It's okay, leave it to Gonta. Gonta keep eye on Kokichi. Could it be? Was Kokichi trying to lure Gonta off by himself? Maybe. The only person I entrusted with the secret of the outside world was Gonta, because he's so easily Gonta. manipulated. After that, Gonta got taken to forest near mansion. Is this flashback light? 
It looks like it. Maybe the secret of the outside world is hidden in it. We gotta tell everyone. Hard pass. Wait. Are you sure you want to believe a liar like me so easily? Huh? This might be a trap, you know? Shouldn't you check if I'm lying first? I mean, you want to protect everyone, right? This is the perfect time to do it. Protect everyone? Um... How this happened? And they're gone to remember secret of the outside world. But that just confused gone some more about what to do. <sighs> what can Gonta do to save everyone? Gonta no could think of anything. <laughs> so I told him. If he wants to save everyone, he should put everyone out of their misery. Oh god. <laughs> the outside world is that bad? In other words, a mercy kill. What did you say? What? No way. Was Gonta tricked? Wrong. No, you're not tricked. Dear god, what is going on outside? Because when Gonta remembers Secret of Outside World, Gonta think <sighs> it would be easier to die, dear lord. Huh? What? Um, Remember when everyone said at the beginning that this academy is hell? <sighs> Gonta agree, but a cakewalk compared to what the fuck is ever going on outside, Jesus. Academy that forced students to be part of killing game is hell. So everyone think they want to escape this place, right? But if it's still hell outside, what do we do? Huh? What do you mean, Gonta? <sighs> Inside is hell. Outside is hell. What should Gonta and friends live for? Oh god. Like fell into despair. How this happened? And everyone who died, what did they die for? It's hell outside and hell inside? But... And then Kokichi tell me. Best way to save everyone from hell is to put them out of misery while they still not know. And only one who could do such dirty work is Gonta. Yeah. That's right, the only way you can save everyone is to free them from this hell. Gonta took on the dirty work for us. If he had survived the class trial, he would have lived in this hell alone. Gosh. So you was trying to do like a heroic murder like Sakura and kind of like Gundam too. Gonta. Get it? Gonta took on that role for us. Shouldn't we appreciate him more? God, <laughs> Kokichi. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I like hate you and love you at the same time. Hold on. Wait a minute, I still don't get what's happening. Um. What outside world are you talking about? It's hell out there, what do you mean? What did Kokichi and Gonta see? What did we forget? Uh, hey. Hurry up and tell us or else we won't be able to understand it. Right? Gonta, what pushed you to do such a thing? Uh, Please. Answer, Gonta. Sorry. Sorry, Gonta no can tell you. Why? Can't tell us why. <sighs> because if Gonta tell you, then everyone will end up like Gonta. Everyone, despair. Oh, huh? he fell into despair. I can't believe we're bringing up that word. Man, it's been like the whole game almost. Despair? I know it. A despair that makes you want to die. A despair that makes you want to put everyone out of their misery. Did you think the kind Gonta would tell you about such despair from his own mouth? But... But now we don't know any more th than when we started. <sighs> now you know how Gonta and I formed the Killing Game Busters, right? <laughs> the Killing Game Busters. <laughs> what a name. Then can't you accept everything about this case? You can imagine the rest, right? I used Miu's plan and turned it against her. I hid Gonta away from sight where Miu and I were supposed to meet. Huh, Kaido's not here. Yeah, you're right. Oh man, I'm honored you asked me to meet up with you, Miu. Is this a booty? <laughs> Is this a booty call? I know my Roblox little chibi character looks pretty good right now. I don't blame you. Or are you here to kill me? So you figured it out, but there's nothing you can do. You can't resist me. I made sure of it when I programmed your settings. Uh-oh, guess I'm in trouble now. I'm sorry, but you should just give up. This is my only chance. I have no clue but to do this. My inventions will change the world. They'll make the world a better place. It's my duty as a genius inventor, so I can't afford to die here. Uh. Sorry, Gonta, so sorry. Uh-huh. 
Don't be sorry, Gante. She was trying to kill me too. She said it was for the world or whatever, but that was just a poor excuse. We're doing this to stop the vicious cycle of misery, so you don't need to apologize. But, but, oh, Gonta. Oh, Gonta, sorry. Gonta, so sorry, Miyu. I already said you don't need to apologize. We had to do this for everyone's sake. It, it can't, can't be. be. Gonta would never. By the way. You should know that it was Gonta's idea to slide the body to the chapel as well. Huh? What? Gonta's idea? That was at least smart thinking, Gonta, even though I hate that you're about to die. Gonta. Before Gonta went to Roof, he happened to see Miu walk through the wall. Gonta tell Kokichi and he think of everything else. But Gonta gave me that chance. I like to think we made a pretty good team. Stop it! Good, what's good about that? You're the worst! Um That whole story, that's everything that happened. Well, so in the end, you don't plan to tell us the secret of the outside world. Oh, Sorry. I've seen some messed up shit, you guys. Sorry, Gonta no can tell you that. Always messing around. <laughs> it's Oma Kokichi land out there. <laughs> like what Junko wanted, except with just a bunch of Omas. It's fucking terrible. That truly is heaven. I mean, hell. Well, I mean, hearing that story, it sounds like you were tricked by Kokichi. Can this be? But Gonta did kill Miyu. Gonta really did it. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Gonta is so sorry. <laughs> Gonta. <laughs> but Gonta's plan to save everyone fail. Gonta not save anyone. Gonta just make everyone suffer more. Gonta, idiot. Gonta is stupid. So stupid. How can Gonta call himself gentleman? You are gentleman, Gonta. <laughs> oh. Everyone, please forgive him. Gonta tried to save us all from despair by taking on the sin of killing us. I wonder, like, I don't know, it's so easy to think that Kokichi is such a dick, but, like, I feel like he is always trying to say, like, I do everything I do to save you. So somebody is like, well, maybe he was trying to save us in his own weird way. Like, does he really think that the outside world is so bad that we would all be better off dead, too? Was he actually, like, well, I mean, I don't know. He was kind of, like, trying to lead us to the culprit, I felt like, pretty strongly, which is partially why I was, like, there's no way he did it. But he must have set somebody up or, like, manipulated somebody else because he's, like, pushing all the evidence and, you know, leading, helping Saihara so much get to the truth. So it seemed like he wanted us to all find out and to despair. I don't know. You're confusing, Oma. I don't know, I just kind of get the vibe from him that he is kind of like Kamida and he is trying to help everybody in some way. But, I don't know, I mean, I guess it'll be easier to tell once I beat the game and I figure out what else, what really is going on outside if he was... Really trying to be a pure cinnamon roll or not. Gonta tried to save us all from despair by taking on the sin of killing us. But you reached for the truth and Gonta's plan failed. All of you could have been saved if you died without knowing anything. Huh? So you're saying it was wrong to fight for the truth? Yeah. Yeah, it was. At least Gonta and I think so. Even though I was really, like, on top of helping you trying to get to the truth, Saihara. And also making you break up with Kaido and Maki. You should have an... You should have all died ignorant. Gonta even killed Miu for that sake, you know? Enough of your shit, you made him kill her. Please stop! No, Gonta is bad! Cause Gonta kills someone, Gonta is a murderer, it's true! <sighs> yes, Gonta make everyone suffer, that is true. Sorry, sorry Gonta is one. sorry, he failed everyone. Oh, Gonta. Gonta is sorry for being stupid, Gonta is sorry! He make everyone suffer, Gonta is so sorry! We get it, you don't need to apologize anymore. You're probably all thinking that I should have taken on the dirty work and not Gonta, right? Everyone hates me, so the role of villain is perfect for me. I know that. Yeah, I know already. It should have been my responsibility. But when I realized Mew was targeting me, I thought to myself, she must already have a way to prevent me from fighting back in the virtual world. I suppose. Okay, so he could have technically really been trying to do the plan with Gonta, and he wasn't just trying to be a little douche turd and get Gonta killed. The only thing I guess that is confusing is that I do feel like he was helping out in the trial so much to get to the truth of Gonta being the culprit, which makes it like, which was the lie and which was the truth. And in fact, you were right. She set it up so she could paralyze you with just a touch. 
so am I. That's why I had to ask Ganta. I would have done it myself if I could. That's enough. Okay, but you didn't need to push everything onto Ganta to... Please stop. stop it, it's okay. <sighs> Everyone, please, don't blame Kokichi anymore. Please. Ganta, you... <laughs> How nice can you be, Ganta? You really are stupid sometimes. <sighs> You're right, someone as stupid as Ganta can never be a gentleman. No, Ganta, you hey, are a gentleman. Hey. hey, so are we done yet? Huh? What? And another you guys are starting to talk in circles, so let's just move to the exciting stuff. <laughs> yes, the eagerly anticipated punishment time! So am I! Wait, if you're gonna punish him, then please punish me too. Huh? Kokishi? I know that! I prepared for it. If you're gonna ex execute Ganta, then I... <sighs> Is he being serious right now? Are you actually kind of nice, Kokichi? Or I don't know, like actually feeling bad for this? It's okay, Kokichi. Please let Ganta sacrifice himself for everyone's sake. That's all Ganta can do anymore. But... Just promise Ganta that everyone forgive each other and be friends, okay? Ugh. <sighs> Alright, I promise. Are you being serious right now, Kokichi? You seem kind of like you are. Are you actually sweet? <laughs> okay! Alright, it's time to punish the ultimate entomologist, Ganta Gokuhara! I mean, how could anybody not love Ganta? He's so sweet. Mm. Oh man, I bet his punishment is gonna have a lot of gross and nasty bugs. <laughs> oh. ah. That's right, you don't like nasty stuff. Eek. No, it's not that. It's coming. Yeah. What, already? Eek. The con contractions are speeding up any minute now. Honey. Quick, hold my hand. Melvin, I prepared a very special punishment. Oh, I don't wanna watch this. Uh, I kind of like, I don't know, I think he might actually be serious about feeling bad about this. Is the outside world really that bad, Kokichi? Oh, I actually kind of feel bad for him. I can't believe I'm saying that. Wait, please, I don't want this. Don't go, Ganta. No. Don't cry, Kokichi. Ganta is okay. <sighs> I kind of feel bad for calling you a dickweed earlier. Yeah, Ganta not cry. Ganta's really not scared. But... How can this be? Ganta upset. Ganta upset he no could protect everyone. Ganta, you you can't cry either. It's punishment time! Well, then let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! Sorry. Ganta, everyone. love you all. God, Ganta. Ganta, idiot. Oh. I love you, Ganta. I don't want to watch you die. I wonder if they're gonna punish the alter ego, Gonta too. They probably will. Okay. Ugh. I wanna watch this. Yeah, they are. Bug bullets. Wild West insect tide. gonna shoot him a bunch. Reminds me of Leon's, kind of. Damn! Oh, he did get hurt. Looked like he wasn't getting hurt at all for a second. Oh, Garnsa! Just gonna try to... I don't know. Just shoot him until I guess he, like... Like, the whole Leon thing, except we see it closer. Oh, God! What the hell is that thing?! Oh, Monotaro! Both of them died?! Oh, my God! I didn't expect that! Oh my god! Ah, uh, here comes the pain! Oh god! Oh, Garnsa! Poor thing! Oh god! And a fire. I loved you, Garnsa! You were so sweet! Monokuma is so evil. Oh god, Kaido looks like he was really upset. Oh god. Dang, I can't believe it looks like Mo both the Monocubs died too. That was really surprising actually. I kinda at first I was thinking it was gonna be Monotaro, then I was thinking it was gonna be Monophy. Man, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce her name wrong anymore. I guess it makes sense since I was going back and forth on them so much. Poor Gainsa, I liked him so much. I feel bad for him. 
I guess like he did have a valiant death like Sakura and um and like Gundam as well. He was trying to do it to save us because the real world was just so messed up. I really cannot read Kokichi. I feel like I go back and forth on like he's actually trying to help us. He's not. He is. He's not. He is. He's not. He is. Like I feel like I'm always going back and forth on it. He's so hard to read. I feel like he secretly is like trying to help us in some way in like his own way, but like kind of like because that's how it was with Kumaida, but. I don't know, it's like so hard to figure out when you're playing the game and not like sitting down and like analyzing everything, like how that is possible. I don't know, I, I can't really tell. He did seem generally upset when Gonta was dying or like right before Gonta died, but at the same time, like I said, it felt like in the trial, he was really pushing us to find the culprit. And I was like, oh, he wants us to find it because you know, he wants to see us all. Notice how the truth is so awful and lies are amazing type of thing. And like, I don't know, the whole thing with Monokuma was like, he set it up for Gonta to see the outside. I don't know. He's really hard to read. He's really hard to read. I like, uh, I'm just gonna wait till my character analysis maybe <laughs> to when I really figure out his character. That's kind of how it was with Kamida. Even when I was playing the game, I was like, I have no idea what you're on, dude, but I find it really interesting. Poo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Surprise, what a twist, huh? Even I didn't see that coming. All my little cubs have been destroyed. Oh, so sad. All the cutscenes that have gone to waste. Why? Oh, all the cuteness. Oh, okay. Now I go back. Wow, so sad. All that cuteness gone to waste. What are you talking about? You're responsible for this. Why would you do such a thing to your own children? Because lately they've been acting all buddy buddy and neglecting me. Yeah. I'm never gonna get the hang of this whole parenting thing. It's a good thing they're all dead. That's why. Got a minute? Doesn't matter now. We don't have time to give him attention. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna walk away quietly and go mourn my dead kids. I'm just really torn up about it, as you can tell. Later. Oh God. God, Samugi looks <laughs> fucked up too. Uh. Oh, Himiko. Damn it, why did it turn out like this? Oh, Saihara, I hate that sprite. You're so sweet, Saihara. Got a minute? Hey, Kokichi, why don't you tell us now? What is the secret of the outside world? If we don't if we don't know it, then we won't be able to understand or accept it. What was that? I can't accept it either, Kokichi. What is the secret of the outside world? What kind of secret would push Gonta that far? Ah. Uh. Kokichi, if you really cared for Ganta, explain yourself to everyone and... I don't want you. Huh? You what? I don't want to, stupid head. Oh, uh, what are you up to? What is that face? Kokichi. <laughs> oh man, did you fall for all that fake crap? Oh, fuck you, dude. Oh, God, it's just like, it's so hard to tell when he's like... Is he lying about this, or was he lying about the crying, or was he- Oh god, you're so fucking hard to read! You're so dumb! I would never cry for Gonta! God. What? Fake crying. Because? If I said the actual truth back there, Gonta would have been real mad. That would have interfered with the game, so I simply lied to calm him down. See, as long as you lie for a good purpose, right? Where's my Oscar at, guys? What? What? Hey! What do you mean, what really happened? Why did you make him do that? Well, Obviously, so it wouldn't be boring. Huh? What are you? Which means... I gave Gonta an incentive because I thought it'd liven up the game. Come on, think about it. If I actually wanted to save everyone like what Gonta did... I wouldn't have betrayed Gonta. You should have realized that. Hey! Then why did Gonta? <laughs> <laughs> God, that laugh was awful. <laughs> Who cares about that idiot? Jesus! <laughs> I want to enjoy this game filled with suspicion and betrayal from the bottom of my heart. Why haven't it, why hasn't anybody tied you up, dude? Kokichi gave us one of his creepy smiles that we never comment on for some reason. When I saw it, I finally saw Kokichi for what he really is. Malice. 
His entire body nothing but raw and unfettered malice. I am the supreme leader of evil, so it's obvious my personality would be twisted. Fucking psychopath. The more you suffer, the more I enjoy it. There are people in this world who spread grief and misery for no reason than the thrill of it. And I'm one of those people. Nothing pleases me more than inflicting pain on others! Oh, you're so psycho, dude. Seriously, who the hell do you think you are? Then, so for your own entertainment, you sacrificed Miyu and Gonta. You're so dumb. Oh, uh, is that really the truth, though? Oh, God. I'm gonna, like, have to melt my brain doing your character analysis, Oma. What's so bad about that? You kill people for money, right, Maki Roll? You bastard. Someone like you has no right to call me Maki Roll. Do you want to die? die? <laughs> <laughs> you look so much better with a scowl on your face, Maki Roll. But hey, you guys are just way too trusting. If you only had suspected me more, then... <laughs> Miyu and Ganta wouldn't have died such meaningless deaths. Meaningless deaths? Kaido screamed and sprinted up to Kokiji like a bullet. Get him, Kaido. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. A dull thud resounded through our skulls. Oops, sorry. I tried to dodge you. But I punched you in Jeez, oh my gosh. You really are wearing a straight jacket, dude. You're fucking insane. Kaito. You. By the way, Kaito, is it just me? Or are you way slower? <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. Kaito is hiding something from us. Too. Oh, are you gonna out his illness? Kaido, are you okay? Kaido kept coming at him, and Maki glared at Kaido with that piercing eyes. Wait a minute. For someone who claims to be bad at fighting, you were pretty agile just now. <laughs> <laughs> you believed a lie like that? Ugh. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jeez, dude. Oh, it's getting so intense. That sprite! You really want to die, don't you? Let's have more fun. Oh, did I finally provoke you enough? Is it because of Kaido? Do you love him, Maki? Maki. No, Maki. <laughs> what am I thinking? Maki wouldn't lose her cool for a guy like Kaido. He's way too pathetic. He's all bark and no bite. Let's face it, the ultimate astronaut is just a trainee anyways. Kokichi never got to finish his provocation. No one cared what he had to say anymore. They all rushed to Kaido's side. Right? Kaido, are you hurt? Are you alright? Can you stand? Do you need to lean, lean on my shoulder? Sorry. Sorry, my MP is at zero, so I can't use any recovery magic. Oh? Hey, why are you all so worried about this pathetic... Uh, That's wrong! Pathetic! Look at yourself, Kokiji. Hmm? What? No. Kaido always has us by his side, see? But no one wants to be around you. You're alone, Kokiji, and you always will be. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about friends? Friends don't make this game more entertain... Oh, man. Jeez, boring. I'm no longer interested. I don't care anymore, but I will tell you this. <laughs> the only one who will win this game is me. He's gonna leave. Kokichi spat out those words, then left the room. Ugh. Kaito. Kaito, are you okay? <sighs> oh, Kaito. Your illness is coming back up. Huh? Hey, Kaido. Hey! You don't look well. It didn't seem like he punched you that hard, but... W what? Did you hit your head or something? Uh, I'm okay. It's fine. Okay? Don't push yourself. You should lie down and... Uh, I said I'm fine. Kaido tried to get up, but... Oh, he's... Oh, no. We're gonna find out about it. Kaido doubled over. His knees gave out and he collapsed hard. Cut. Oh, Kaido. I don't want you to die. What? K Kaito? Blood? Why? What's the matter, Kaito? I wonder if his illness is... I mean, obviously, it's something very serious that he can die from, but maybe it's not terminal, but like... 
but like he needs like serious medical attention in order to overcome it and like he's lacking that in the killing game and that's why he's getting worse maybe maybe that's why like he was able to hide it better in the beginning and now like he can't hide it anymore now oh god that sucks if that's the case and i could see maki killing to try to get him out or something i don't know blood why what's the matter kaido come on don't freak out over this it's nothing my cold just got worse it's way all. worse than a cold dude I didn't know that coughing up blood was a cold symptom. Uh. You're a robot, and you don't know that? I'm saying it's fine. Just chill. Jeez. I just coughed too much and cut my throat or something. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Kaido. As he spoke, he somehow got to his feet. Uh. Yeah, that's it. I just need a drink of water. Sorry, but I'm going to head back to my room. Kaito. Kaito, I'll go with... Shut Don't up. follow me. Huh? What? Is he still pissed at me? Uh. I can walk on my own. I don't need your help, Shuichi. Or maybe he's just trying to do it on his own. Kaito staggered off. Damn. Well, I'll go with him. It would be bad if he collapses on the way. Um. Right, we'll leave it to you then. Ugh. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Kaido is just stressed out, is all. Oh, he fucking hates me. Why? Why did it end up like this? I thought I... Thought I could help. I wanted us all to survive. And I wanted to do it so damn bad, I kept fighting for it. Fighting for the truth. And this is what I get? By trying to survive, we're just playing this stupid game. Just like Kokichi. Oh my god. Damn it! Damn it! Oh no, more Kokichi. <laughs> it's almost time. Oh god. Yeah, it's almost time. This should be enough. Jeez. <laughs> Dude. Oh, end it. You're so crazy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. Is the time you have more crazy sprites than any character I've ever seen, Oma? I'll end this killing game. Oh, God. This world is mine, Kokichi Oma. God dang it. I actually got this line spoiled for me a few days ago. That's why I'm not really reacting very much to it, but. I still wonder exactly what he means. Like, is he the mastermind or something? I don't know. Subscribe to Weeby News for more hope-filled videos.